Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to take my top five altcoins going into June. Altcoins does not include Bitcoin. Um, we're going to look at future potential, uh, current trends, and what uh, also like recent performance because you have to include recent performance um because we're you know we're really most of us here are here to make money we're not really here for any kind of like idealistic change the world stuff i'm gonna guess most of us aren't most of us here are just investing we want to make money off of this so um recent performance actually does matter so number one has to be bnb bnb is the only coin i can i can safely say that has actually decoupled from bitcoin um, it doesn't really pay attention to Bitcoin movements in the market. It kind of does its own thing. It has its own Binance Launchpad. And every time they announce a new coin on Launchpad, it pumps in price. So you've got to give it the number one nod. It's outperformed just about any other top 10 coin out there. It has gone from $5 to $33, $34 right now. And there's just really not another coin that has uh, the recent performance to keep up with it, as well as the future potential of its uh, of pumping even more on um, Binance Launchpad announcements. It's far ahead of any other exchange coin. It's by far the biggest one, and Binance is one of the, one of the if not the best known exchange coin out there. I do, in a big bull run, I do expect BNB to get over $200. And the thing about BNB that really bumps it up to number one is the fact that it's fairly predictable in price increases every time they announce another Launchpad project. Plus, it's got a lot of projects with the DEX coming up. So BNB has to take the number one spot going into June. Now, these will change month by month as I see fit. Number two is going to be Ethereum right now. Um, ETH is the mainnet coin of choice for um, a lot of projects, actually. Like, If you're talking about actual utility of, of Ethereum, of crypto, I mean, Ethereum is probably the coin with the most actual utility right now it, despite yes it did lose some cost clients to like vchain and some other um you know tron or some small games to tron ethereum still has by far the most enterprise customers and they're actually using the ethereum blockchain you know jp morgan's using an enterprise version of ethereum microsoft azure has partnered with ethereum for their blockchain solution as has uh, amazon web services i know there's been some scaling issue concerns with ethereum but you got to think if Microsoft, JP Morgan, and Amazon are using some version of Ethereum, they've somewhat resolved those issues behind the scenes because I don't think those giant companies would actually use Ethereum um, if they really hadn't solved their scaling issues, at least to some degree. Deloitte also teased another um, project using Ethereum, and they've actually stayed committed to actually using Ethereum for about half their projects. So Ethereum has a giant enterprise alliance of, you know, 75 partners. They have a ton of partners, a lot of people using Ethereum. Also, I would say like 90% of ICO projects right now are on Ethereum. And those can really pump Ethereum up as the bull market continues and smaller ICO coins actually gain traction. Ethereum, I believe, will pump so much harder than other top coins once its ICOs really start to pump it up. So Ethereum comes in at number two. Number three is still VET. Despite its performance lately, really hasn't lived up to my expectations for performance lately. Um, it did pump a lot last month or in April, right before the summit, but it has been disappointing since the summit. And um, I really hope that it actually pumps next month. If it doesn't pump in June, it's probably going to move down in my rankings more. Used to be number one, but now it's number three in my rankings uh, because the recent performance just, just, just doesn't really justify it being any higher. I still think it has massive potential. I'm hoping the new PWC announcement with Sunny Liu and some of the other Chinese announcements will actually pump it in June. But if it doesn't pump in June, it'll probably continue to move down in my rankings because I have to include recent performance uh, along with these rankings. VET overall is still up, you know, 70, 80% since in terms of USD since the beginning of the year, but has not kept pace with Bitcoin. I still think it has a great long-term future, but it has to be number three for right now because recent performance doesn't justify it being any higher than it is. Number four is XRP. Um, I still believe in the long-term prospects of XRP. There's just way too much hype surrounding the project. People thinking it, it's going to go to like $10 by May 31st. That, that's not going to happen. Um, or like, you know, $10,000 within the next three to five years. That's also not going to happen. Like people just making nonsensical predictions. And 
what I consider basically just flat out lying at this point about the future prospects. I myself am, uh, are a lot more reserved on XRP. I still believe in its long-term future. I don't know if it'll even break a dollar by the end of this year, um, depending on how Bitcoin goes. I still think they're a couple of years away from really making an impact on the banking business. Um, taking over SWIFT is not going to be that easy. But I do believe they'll actually start this year. They'll probably get one or two bank implementations this year, but for the more smaller exotic corridors, that won't affect volume all that much, but it'll have a good psychological effect. And I do believe the price will go up along with the rest of the market. And if you're looking at long-term prospects several years down the line, I do actually expect it to be somewhat of a disrupting force in the banking market. Do I expect it to take over the entire banking ecosystem? No, I, I really don't. But I do expect it to carve out its own niche, its own share, um, you know, in a couple of years. So if you're looking for a long-term hold, XRP is still an excellent long-term hold. I do believe you can eventually make maybe like 20x on the investment if you're willing to wait a couple of years. Now, it can, be, it can come before that on a big FOMO. But really in a big FOMO, I think holding any of the top 10 coins outside of Tether will do you well. Because you, the price of any of those coins uh, besides Tether will skyrocket in a big FOMO. So... You have to really take the FOMO element out because if you include the FOMO element, like every coin is going to perform the same in a FOMO. It's basic; they're all basically going to skyrocket in a FOMO, so it doesn't really matter which one you hold. That's not specific to XRP, but if you're looking for a long-term utility coin, if you're willing to wait, you know, two, three, four years, maybe five years, I think XRP will get you a lot of returns on investment. And based on their partnerships, it should be a safer investment than most other coins. So that's why XRP slides in at number four. Their performance over Q1 of this year has been the worst out of the top 10. So it does not justify a higher position for XRP at this moment. Number five is LTC. And it's only here because of the happening in August. Um, I don't really know about the long-term prospects of Litecoin. Uh, I don't like the fact that Charlie Lee dumped all his Litecoin um, and has no skin in the game anymore. But Litecoin, because of its happening and its recent price performance, has to slide in at number five. Um, you know, out of the Bitcoin forks, I probably like this one the best. I mean, there's a case to be made for Bitcoin Cash, obviously. But Litecoin is obviously, um, it is used as a base pair in a lot of trading places. I mean, it went up from like $33 to $115 this year. So you can see that there is future for Litecoin. They have that partnership with TokenPay. They're trying to get a banking license or whatever. I haven't really heard of, and they're trying to partner with a Nimble Wimble uh, to actually have some kind of security within the Litecoin infrastructure or privacy within the Litecoin infrastructure. They, they do transfer faster than Bitcoin. And Litecoin is usually one of the first coins accepted outside of Bitcoin at many exchange listings and other places. So Litecoin, I think, has a future and especially... Uh, up until August, it's probably going to remain in my top five because I believe it's going to be at least a solid 150, if not greater, in price by August. So that is uh, why Litecoin slides in at number five. So that rounds out my top five altcoins. Um, so number one, again, BNB, number two, Ethereum, number three, VET, number four, XRP, and number five, Litecoin. That is my top five coins of choice for now. Let me know if you agree with me. Check out... Um, Please like and subscribe and hit that notifications button if you like my content. And also uh, retweet and share this on social media if you like my content. Thank you and have a nice day.